Hey guys, and welcome back to another new Animal Crossing video. Today I'm doing something a little bit different, but something I've kind of done a bit in the past. I'm doing an Animal Crossing Q&A basically. So I asked you guys on YouTube and a few different platforms to basically send me your Animal Crossing questions and I'll answer as many as I can. Now a quick disclaimer, I really wanted to answer so many of these, but I literally got so many. I did this on three different platforms and I got a ton of questions. So I'm just going through some of them. So I'm sorry if I didn't get to your question, but I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun either way. Vigark Saiyan asked, if you could get rid of one villager species, which would it be? Um, now, I honestly wouldn't get rid of any of them because I think variety is the spice of life, but if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick the pigs. I don't really like the pigs very much. I'm gonna get into this later. But <laughs> I'm not very fond of the pigs, to be honest. I just don't think they are very aesthetically pleasing. I can think of maybe one... No, I can think of two good pig characters that I like. Ganon and Gala. The two Gs. And they're very cool. Slush Tendo asked, Do you own any Animal Crossing merchandise, like plushies and shirts? I used to own some plushies. Unfortunately, I kind of got rid of them. I didn't want to, but it, I just had to do it for space reasons. But I still have a ton of Animal Crossing amiibo cards, and I also have pretty much every Animal Crossing amiibo ever made. So yeah, that's that's basically my collection. I was thinking about doing a video on that actually at some point. It could be a pretty good idea. And speaking of merchandise, I have a special announcement about Crossing Channel merchandise at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Isabel herself asked, Am I overrated? I've said this a few times in my videos, I think the word overrated is kind of a, a lazy way of passing off something that you don't like. I definitely think that there are other characters who should get as much love as Isabel does, but I don't think she's overrated, you know, I think I think she's a good character, and we stan. We stan Isabel. EG13 asked, if you could delete any character from the game, who would you get rid of? Chops. Easily. So this goes into the pigs thing, I hate Chops. I'd, uh, this is the only Animal Crossing character that I hate. I, I think almost, even the characters who I don't think look good, I can, I can be okay with them. I can say, you know what, I can see something good in you. Chops is the one character that I can't stand. His design, his attitude, he, the things he did in my Animal Crossing town, I can't even get into it, but basically Chops is one of the only characters in Animal Crossing who has truly angered me. And... <laughs> Yeah, so Chops is the character I'd remove, no doubt. I'm sorry, if there's any Chops fans out there, first of all, why? But second of all, I'm sorry, but I would remove Chops. B asked, and I love your profile picture, should, ni <laughs> should Nintendo add thinkers to our characters? No, 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 that's cursed. Cloud Animal asked, of the animal personalities, which one do you think you'd have if you were an AC character? Definitely lazy. Look at me. I'm struggling out here. Milka Boom asked, Since New Leaf was your first game and you can look up playtime on your 3DS, just out of curiousness, how many hours did you play it? There you go. I played it for 2,568 2, hours, and I played it 4,847 times. The average playtime is really weird. I think that's so low because I started playing a lot less in the later years. I think that's why... The first played is also inaccurate, that is wrong. My 3DS's clock was wrong there, so that's not true at all. Last played, that's also not true. Is that true? No, no, actually that one might be accurate. I thought that said 2018. That one might be accurate, but yeah, the first played is definitely not accurate. I played it basically, I think maybe a few days after it came out in Europe, so yeah. Arjun Sharma asked, will you start a series on Animal Crossing New Horizons when it releases? I would love to see that. 100% yes, that's going to be happening on day one, and also after the episodes, not after every episode, but after some episodes, I will also stream, because I'm going to be obsessed with this game. I want to have a lot of content for it, and I want it to be quite interactive with you guys, so that will definitely be happening. I also asked you guys on Twitter. I'm at Crossing Channel on Twitter. If you guys want to follow me, it's a great place to see all my silly thoughts. Julieta So. I think that's the correct pronunciation, I'm sorry if it's not, asked, what are your top three Animal Crossing music tracks, either daytime or place related? Okay, I like the one from Animal Crossing City Folk that goes like, do, 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 
do 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 I'm sorry that was really painful to listen to I'm sure but that one I don't know the name of it I'm a terrible fake Animal Crossing fan here <laughs> and the roost that's a really great one of course I'm playing it in the background of this video because it's one of my favorites and then ooh, the Animal Crossing GameCube theme song those are my favorites Flower Knight asked your least favorite game in the series plus why has to be Animal Crossing Wild World. Now, just because I'm saying it's my least favorite doesn't mean I don't like it. I think Wild World is a great game with lots of cool features, but it also gives the, le the least for the series, basically. And it removed Holidays, which is not something that's good at all, basically. Holidays are so great in Animal Crossing, so having those completely gone from the game is something that I don't like at all. Plessyoffs asked, favorite time of day to play in? I usually tend to play at about 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. It doesn't always work out that way, but if I can play in those times, those are my favorites. The sun setting in the game always looks gorgeous. I think sunsets in video games always look really nice, and in Animal Crossing that's especially true no matter what season you find yourself in. Omtai asked, most fond memory of Animal Crossing definitely has to be an Animal Crossing New Leaf when I would play on the island with my friends, when we would all get together and hunt bugs and sharks and get all that money, you know, and we'd sort of be competing a bit, trying to steal stuff from each other, and we'd be on Skype calling each other when we played. Some of you guys probably don't even remember Skype, but yeah, Skype was a real one back in the day. Speaking of Skype, I also asked people on my Animal Crossing Discord server, which again is in the video description if you guys want to check it out. It's a really, really great place to discuss Animal Crossing and chat with fellow friends. And I asked you guys the same thing, send me in some questions, and you did. Gingerbread Man said, what is your favorite in-game holiday, any game? Halloween, definitely. I love Halloween. Halloween is such a great and iconic event in Animal Crossing, and in real life I love Halloween, so it's basically perfect for me. Lee's asked, Did you already think of a name for your New Horizons town? Yes, I did. It's going to be named Kokomo. I was really debating on this, but Kokomo is a really great song by the Beach Boys, and it's all about, you know, a tropical island, a fictional tropical island, and coincidentally, Animal Crossing New Horizons is set on a fictional tropical island. So I think that fits very well. Usually I name my town Sigma. I don't know why. I think I named it after, like, a music studio or something like that, but I think I'm gonna go with Kokomo for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Puppy asked, if you were stuck on a deserted island with Bob, would you let him eat you to survive? And why is the answer yes? Of course I would. Bob is a lazy villager, so he has to have lots of food. If I didn't feed Bob, I would basically just be a heartless monster. And that's not the kind of person that I want to be at all. Bob needs to eat, guys. Make sure you feed Bob. If you see Bob in your Animal Crossing town, give Bob some food. Give him an apple, give him a cherry, whatever you need. CL86 asked, Ben, do you prefer large town maps like Population Growing and City Folk? I don't know why, but I was reading that as Pocket Gamp. Very strange. Or small towns like in Wild World and New Leaf. Uh, is New Leaf really that small? It never felt that small to me. I feel like you can do a lot with that. It just feels smaller because it's on the 3DS, I think. But I get what you're saying, and yeah, I prefer the bigger town maps generally. I think City Folk had the, the kind of the perfect size, but at the same time, the original Animal Crossing maps are so much more interesting, so I might have to say the one in the original Animal Crossing game, so population growing. That's probably my favorite size of map that you can get, and in terms of variety, I don't really think you can beat the original Animal Crossing. Alice asked, what's your favorite item in Animal Crossing? Do I even need to say? Now, I have a special announcement to make to you guys. Crossing Channel, me, <laughs> I now have my own Animal Crossing merch and I worked with my great artist Mulk, who has done a lot of art for the channel and done all the art, outro art and stuff. We've worked together to create some beautiful Animal Crossing merch for you guys. Now currently it's mostly just Bob merch. We're gonna see how this merch does. And then we're going to open up suggestions for different kinds of merch. And yeah, we're also going to be doing a giveaway for some Animal Crossing merch very soon. So stay tuned. And if you want to check out this merch, click the link in the description down below. It's really great stuff. And I'm excited to show it off very soon. If you want to help support the channel, you can click the join button down below and become a member of the Bob's Gang. There's a ton of cool perks that come with it. And one of those perks is getting shouted out at the end of every video. 
So thank you to all of these brilliant Bob's Gang members, I appreciate your support so much. Well, I really wanted to get to everyone's questions and it's sad that I couldn't, but I just got so many. You guys really give great questions and this was a lot of fun to do. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and of course, comment down below to leave your thoughts, whatever they may be. Thank you guys and see you in the next video.